on that subject of inner or outer shoulder wear, if it, let's say it's an inner shoulder wear, it could be toe out or negative camber, either one. If it's outer shoulder wear, then it could be positive camber, toe in, or excessive toe out on turns. Now, some toe out on turns is normal. If you didn't have some toe out while you turn the corner, you'd have all kinds of scuffing of the tires. So manufacturers engineer that in, but excessive or in, in, insufficient can be just as bad as, as uh, one way or the other, causing shoulder wear on the tire. If you have diagonal wear on rear wheels of a front wheel drive car like we have here, it could be incorrect rear toe. If you have cupping or imbalance, run out or suspension damage could be the cause. Imbalanced tires, run out or suspension could cause the cupping of a tire. So in that case, you want to actually take your hand and roll over the tire and see if it feels smooth or if it feels bumpy from cupping. Those are all things we need to look at before we perform any alignment to get an idea of what we're going to look at when we go into that machine and start looking at those angle specifications.